Our very first speaker is a psychedelic comedian, and this first talk is going to be a little weird. So please welcome up Sarah Siskin. All right, this is going to get really weird. Everybody strap in. Uh, this is Will Smith eating spaghetti. I am showing you because it is the internet's litmus test for AI video, and it is getting hyper-realistic. That last video is so real, it is in fact Will Smith actually eating spaghetti. He trolled the internet on this one. But it is getting really, really good. But while it is still imperfect, I want to know why it looks so trippy. Why, when AI video is not perfect, does it look trippy? I'm going to start off by showing a video that's subtly psychedelic, and then we'll get into it. So. You can see this video isn't exactly natural. I start to morph into her. I animated this photo with runway. We sort of like spin around. I do this super cool dance move where I throw my head around. Um, and so I, we're smooth. It's too fluid. It's not quite realistic. But then it gets even more psychedelic when you actually have a prompting image that is psychedelic. You get these emergent patterns, this sort of like subtle morphing, liquid flowing movement and animated inanimate objects. It all comes together to look a lot more like a trip if you ever had one. So I took 20 real psychedelic trip stories and I animated them with AI video and I premiered them. And due to using a lot of products like Mid Journey, Runway, whatever, I am very sleep deprived and I think I figured it out. I think I know why AI looks so psychedelic. It's because artificial intelligence itself is like a psychedelic state of consciousness. I'm gonna go through why AI is sort of like consciousness and then why AI is sort of like a psychedelic state of consciousness. So I'm gonna start with neural networks, which were inspired by human intelligence. So instead of a network of neurons, they are a network of nodes. Each node is like a fundamental processing unit and they come together to recognize patterns and make decisions much like our own consciousness. Together, we might have emergent consciousness, just like how one water molecule isn't wet, one neuron isn't conscious, and one node isn't conscious either. So we both might have properties of emergent consciousnesses. We also might be both black boxes. We don't understand how our own brains work, and we don't understand how AI works. And you know who else doesn't understand how AI works? AI. It can't explain how it got to an answer either. So we're both kind of like black boxes. Next step, pattern recognition. We both evolved to recognize patterns, particularly faces. So this is just basically a summary of how AI is sort of like normal consciousness. Now we're getting into how AI is sort of like psychedelic consciousness. It's going to get weird. Strap in, everybody. OK, first off, this is the amount of synaptic connections you have in your brain sober. This is your brain on mushrooms. This is sort of like AI's distributed learning, where it's indexing information from a lot of different sources. So it's greater interconnectivity. That's the first way. Second one. Tapping into the universal consciousness when you're on psychedelics is similar to the massive amounts of training data that AI is trained on. Very similar phenomenon of tapping into much greater knowledge. We are all interconnected in the cloud. Now, shamans can guide a psychedelic trip towards healing, which is kind of similar uh, to like how the engineers at Google's Deep Dream uh, bias the algorithm here, this footage of going to a grocery store to see dogs. So shamans can guide and engineers can bias the algorithm algorithm. Now, AI video also has trouble with distinct boundaries. As you can see also in psychedelic experiences, people often experience you know, morphing into themselves when they were older or into animals. They both struggle with distinct boundaries, creating this morphing effect. AI video has a great time with unpredictable motion, things like flames and water, and struggles with predictable things like fingers. Similarly, on psychedelics, hard to do predictable things like math, easy to do unpredictable things like Burning Man. All right, time distribution. So AI is trained on all historical data simultaneously, flattening the arrow of time into a single point, allowing for false memories like this one. Similarly, on psychedelics, you might have time distortion as well. Seems to slow down. Finally, my favorite, while you're in a psychedelic state, you might experience ego dissolution. This is very similar to how AI video struggles with the same reference character. Both struggle with coherent identities. Now, finally, why does this matter? Well, when I streamed all of these trips to people in the audience, they cried. I cried baking them. It was cathartic. This could be very useful for psychedelic integration to understand AI better, to empathize with it, and perhaps to understand the psychedelic state better. But ultimately, it demands introspection, both 
AI and psychedelics, and we have to fundamentally embrace the fact that we may not know ultimately how either works, so I've saved my last 15 seconds for one profound thought and also an AI dance break. So. There's literally no point to this slide, just wanted to dance. Thank you, everybody.